in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Sacrament most, most Holy, O Sacrament Holy. Divine, all Amen. praise and all thanksgiving be every moment there. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. My dear brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A very good evening and welcome to this Holy Eucharist Adoration. The Lord is blessing each one of us this day. Very especially those people who are really loving the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, you are all here to love, praise and worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Let us adore the Lord. Let us thank the Lord for all the blessings. And let us ask him, Lord, bless me with your Holy Spirit. So we start with the hymn of the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit may come upon us. When the power of the Holy Spirit comes, we all will become new people. Praise the Lord. 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 Now we are praying for the power of the Spirit. Let your fire follow me, oh Spirit of God. Fall, follow me, Spirit, follow me. Let your fire follow me, oh Spirit of God. Fall, follow me, Spirit, follow me. I pray you rain down, down, rain down, rain on me, rain down, rain down. Oh, I pray you rain down, down, rain down, rain on me, rain down, rain down. Oh, Spirit of God, oh, oh. 
Mother Mary, we pray for everyone who are participating in this holy adoration. Through the powerful intercession of Mother Mary, let all of us be blessed. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, Son our Lord. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to the judge, the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints. The forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. The glorious mysteries, the first mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Let us contemplate in this mystery our Lord Jesus Christ, triumphing over death, rose again on the third day, glorious and immortal. 
in this sacred and special way we pray for all the families who are participating in this holy adoration through the powerful intercession of mother mary let all the families be blessed we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Let us praise and worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus praise you Jesus worship you Jesus worship the Lord worship the Lord We surrounded by many who have crossed the river before and this is the song we will be the lord praise the lord hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus my dear brothers and sisters in the second decade in a special way we are praying for the holy catholic church pope francis all cardinals bishops all priests religious and lay leaders and all the catholic families all over the world we remember and pray for them the mighty lord may send his holy spirit and through the powerful intercession of mother mary let everyone be blessed in the name of jesus we pray the second mystery the ascension of jesus let us contemplate in this mystery our lord jesus 40 days after his resurrection ascended into heaven in the presence of his most holy Mo mother and apostles and disciples we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially, especially those, those who are most in need of thy mercy. mercy.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Worship you Jesus. Worship you Jesus. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us contemplate in this mystery, our Lord Jesus Christ, being seated at the right hand of God, sent as he had promised the Holy Spirit upon his apostles, who after the ascension returned to Jerusalem and continued in prayer and supplication with the Blessed Virgin Mary, expecting the, full, the fulfillment of his promise. My dear brothers and sisters, in this decade, we pray for the mighty anointing of the Holy Spirit on everyone, especially people who are participating in this holy, ador holy adoration and for whom you are praying. Let all of them be anointed by the power. Let's open our hands before the Lord. Ask for the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Come into our hearts, come into our minds, so that we may all become new people in Christ Jesus. So we pray for the mighty anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now we sing and pray, the power of the Lord may come upon us. Come Holy Spirit. I need your anointing. Come in your power. Open our hands before the Lord. I love you, Holy Spirit. You captivate in my soul. This for the power of the Spirit. I grow to love you more. Come Holy Spirit, come. power of the Lord. The power of the Lord may come upon us. Pray for the anointing of the Spirit. Let the Spirit may enlighten each one of us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. of the Lord may come. The power of the Lord may come. We are all blessed the presence of God. Power of the Lord may come. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Spirit. I thank you. I adore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Worship you, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord. Pray for the anointing of the Spirit. Let the power of the Spirit make. Let the power of the Spirit may come upon us. Jesus, 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 pour out your Spirit. 
pour out your spirit jesus pour out your spirit so that we may be anointed pour out your spirit we pray for the anointing of the spirit we pray out your spirit pour out your spirit pour out your spirit oh lord jesus pour out your spirit pour out your spirit pour out your spirit on me pour out your spirit pour out your spirit pour out your spirit on us thank you lord for your power jesus pour out your spirit pour out your spirit as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you among so women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee 
Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Morning, Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Morning, Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, the name above every 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The fourth mystery, the Assumption of Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious Virgin, many years after the resurrection of her son, passed out of his world to him and was taken bodily into heaven, accompanied by the holy angels. My dear brothers and sisters, in this second, in a special way, we pray for all the sick people, people who are affected with COVID-19, people who are mentally challenged, and people who are not able to walk and attend any church service, people, people who are bedridden, and people who are suffering from different ailments. Remember all of them before the Lord. Let the healing touch of the Lord may come upon all of them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and in our for death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and in our for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Ave. Ave. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious Virgin Mary was to the great jubilation and exaltation of the whole court of heaven, crowned by her son with the brightest diadem of glory, and how all the saints rejoice with her in heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, in this record in a special way, we pray for all the gospel ministries all over the world. Especially we are praying for all the gospel ministries in UK. And my dear brothers and sisters, you pray for all your countries where you are and all the gospel ministries 
let the power of the holy spirit may guide and protect all the gospel ministry groups and especially we are praying for all the vincentian centers all over the world we pray for divine retreat center ramsgate and its all programs for all the priests and volunteers working here in this center especially we pray for the youth group of divine retreat center ramsgate may the power of the lord may help them my dear brothers and sisters it is through the help of the youth group in divine retreat center we are able to <coughs> able to conduct this service very specially we remember all of them we pray for them in a special way especially the brothers and sisters who are involved in the ministry of music and technical support so we pray for all our brothers and sisters who are involved in the ministry of evangelization we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, the, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, in the world without end. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy.
Let's dance, let's clap our hands. Let's praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we love you. We praise you. Lord, we give your glory and honor. Shalom. 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 Lord, we love you. We praise you. We worship you. Lord, we give you all glory and honor. We give you all worship and adoration. Lord, we give you all victory, power, and dominion. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we worship you, we adore you, we glorify you. Let your holy name be honored, let your holy name be worshipped, Lord. We are totally yours, we are nothing without you, Lord. We give you all glory and honor, Lord. We give you all worship and adoration, Lord. We give you all victory, power, and dominion. Let your holy name be honored. Shala Bahala Bandira Bahala Rabaria, Sagarada Bala Bandira Bahala Rabaria, Ria, 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 Lord, we love you, we praise you, we worship you. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we worship you, and we glorify you. Let your holy name be honored, or let your holy name be worshipped. Let's look at the Lord. Let's remember what the Lord has done for us. From the very womb of our mother until today is the Lord who sustained us. He brought us this far. If you are, if you are married, it's God's miracle. And you know it. Though it's not a miracle for today, it was a huge intervention of the Lord in your life. If children are around you, remember even the doctor said it is impossible to have a child. But now you are blessed with children. It's your God's mercy. is intervention of your Lord Jesus who is here in front of you. If you passed in any examination, is the Lord who helped you to pass this examination. If you have overcome any sickness, even the doctors may have told you there is no cure for this sickness. But now you are healthy. It's Jesus. Lord, here I am to acknowledge that I am who I am because of you. Every blessing in my life, everything good in my life comes from you. James chapter 1 verse 17 we read. James chapter 1 verse 17. Every blessing, every good gift, every generous act of giving with every perfect gift he is from above coming down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change every generous act of giving with every perfect gift lord here i am to acknowledge if there is anything good in me it's because of you you have freely given me this i don't deserve to be healed because there are still many who are sick. I don't deserve to have children 
still there are so many who are childless i don't deserve to be married there are so many who are not at married there are i am not i i don't deserve deserve to pay off all my debts as i see people around they still struggle with huge financial crisis who am i that my god brought me this far let's kneel down he possible keep your hands open psalm 9417 psalm 9417 is the content of this song basically if the lord had not been my help my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence let's repeat it together three times if the lord had not been my help my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence if the lord had not been my help my soul would soon lived in the land of silence was 18 when i thought my foot is slipping your steadfast love o oh lord help me up when i thought my foot is slipping your steadfast love o oh lord help me up when i thought my foot is slipping your steadfast love o oh lord help me up keep your hands open who am i my lord my god brought me this far have forgiven me given me a new life let's sing together God is blessing you Jacinda God's concern is coming to you Sushant God is blessing you Prasad no because of who I am but because of what you do Somebody you have a complication in your uterus God is healing you but because God is healing your tube Let's feel the presence of the Lord. Unlike any other God, we have a living God who has a tongue who can speak. 
he sees everything he has sharp eyes that can see each and every detail of your life he can see you monica lifting your hands and praying for the conversion of your husband for many long years so that he may stop alcoholism and a kind of unfaithfulness the lord is never going to neglect your prayers pray for all those who are unfaithful to their life partners and you will become a prayer warrior the lord is consoling monica who is so broke because of the unfaithfulness and the habit of alcoholism from the husband he can see you alone praying before the sacrament the lord is consoling joby i know all your struggles in your family the financial burdens i'm going to intervene in your life god is healing somebody who has left ear blocked you can't hear anything the ear is blocked the lord is opening your ear and he's healing you god is blessing you nirmala you are a prayer warrior even at 3 a.m you get up and pray the divine mercy for the conversion of youngsters the children going astray god is blessing you god is blessing teresa who is helping young children teaching catechism i know your sacrifice though some are against you though people talk against you you for the sake of jesus you teach children about god the lord is appreciating teresa god is blessing you rosemary i can see you you are always in the prayer group you are always praying the lord is there with you pray for others though your prayers are not answered though your prayers are not answered for the healing of your husband you are a prayer warrior god is blessing you god is blessing neha god's love is coming to you god is blessing a little girl called amelia the lord is hugging her and kissing her you are a sign of blessing for your entire family tree god is blessing amelia god's love is coming to you joan god is loving you he knows all your struggles and all your burdens bernard god is blessing you your marriage will be rectified the lord is assuring you god is blessing you victor god is blessing you franklin lord jesus i know you care for me more than anyone anything in this world an old lady you are single you're supposed to go for a treatment on your right leg you have pain when you stand on the knee the lord is healing you somebody you have done several treatments on your tooth and still that you have severe toothache and the pain on the gum the lord is healing you a girl a married woman you are crying because you have a, a rupture in the uterus the lord is healing you you will conceive the lord is telling you we are with a living god who speaks somebody you broke your left hand and you had a problem on the palms the lord is healing you repairing your left hand a mother is crying because the child is not eating all kinds of food the child is allergic the lord is healing your child god's presence you can feel god is blessing shammi god's concern is coming to you god is blessing preeti god is blessing anastasia somebody you lost your document you don't know how to recover it the lord is going to bring it your home a family is crying and praying for your work permit to be approved and you are praying unceasingly several times you got negative feedback the lord is going to intervene pray for all the refugees pray for the welfare of the refugees and the lord is going to intervene somebody have a problem on your muscles you have tried how to get out of it tried treatments but after some time again this same sickness is coming the lord is healing a person somebody have severe problem on your neck you have neck pain 
the lord is healing you a lady you had breast cancer and you removed one breast and now you are still feeling pain the lord is healing you the lord is telling thank the lord for healing you and extending your life lord i'm here where else i go wash me in your blood keep your hands on your head living waters flow on let your healing power come upon me anyone who is sick you are struggling with various sicknesses the lord is here to heal you receive his healing power somebody are pain on the left hand shoulder you can't lift it the lord is healing you somebody you met with an accident and you broke your back your spinal cord there was an injury the lord is healing you somebody with the hip joint pain his healing power is coming to you somebody you feel a growth behind your ears and it's like a lump the lord is healing you is not cancerous god's love is coming to you he knows each and everything in your life surrender all your sins bring your healing to my heart help me love once again sonia sonia god is blessing you shilpa god is blessing you benjamin god is blessing you father soni God is blessing you. Liberta God is blessing you. Somebody have a court case you don't know what to do the Lord is telling you to withdraw it. Holy Spirit flow all. Oh Holy Spirit take over the life of your people. Anjali God is blessing you. Susan God is blessing you Lutz the Lord is blessing you Lutz Anthony God is blessing you Lutz Anthony Shelma God is blessing you Titus God is blessing you Titus Dr Sunil God is blessing you Sister Eugenia revealed like this This is all about Abba Father She was revealed If there is a day that is to be dedicated for the worship of Abba Father that should be on 2nd August 2020 that is this day and there is celebrations in different places it's officially approved by the church is a devotion and dedication to abba father sisters and brothers this is the love of abba father that brought jesus his son that gave us holy spirit abba father is worthy of all worship all adoration please close your eyes and keep your hands on your heart feel the power the presence of abba father in your love is full of love remember what jesus said about abba father a father had two sons both of them failed him both of them failed him the prodigal son abandoned everything he became a sinner that he started to live with the pigs and the elder son also did never love this father but this father came embracing them both saying i love you 
though you failed me we don't see any god like our abba father in any other religion in every religion god is an affair of fear and problem the one who is going to punish and we do have a father full of love he does not know to do anything else other than loving even when somebody comes to attack him he embraces them feel that love maybe as you listen to me it's very hard for you to accept god as a loving father because of the mistreatment of your own biological father as spiritual father say people always have the tendency to compare god the father with their biological father so if their biological father did never love them properly was not responsible did not care for them they may always feel distance to god the father but you should know your real father is abba father he loves you he is the original father of your love your biological father is just a caretaker because your father cannot give life it's abba father who gave you life and abba father told us to eugenia train my people to call me father of all mankind let's remember his love i will sing of your love let's kneel down let's lift our hands unto the lord and acknowledge father's love for us anyone anywhere in the world those who did not get the love of a father let them receive the love of abba father on this special day dedicated to abba father o abba father let your love flow to each and every one in any part of the world even those who are not christians because you are the beginning and the end there is no one created in this world without you abba father we are privileged to sing of your love we are privileged to declare that you are the only god that you are the creator of everything we say thank you we sing of your love if possible kneel down lift both your hands and feel the presence of abba father in front of you coming to embrace you though you are dirty as a prodigal son this father has no problem he comes to embrace you i will sing i want to sing of your love
dir nehmen und heil. Aber Vater, let your name be lifted and be loved and be honored. Let your love flow to every part of this world. Caroline, God is blessing you. Bernadette, God is blessing you. Abba, we lift your name on high. Abba, we lift up your name. We lift your name on high, Abba, Father. Abba, we lift up your name. Abba, we lift your name on high. Abba, we lift up your name. Hala, Hala, Bandira, Hala, Maria. Abba, we lift up your name. I want to sing of your love. Blessing you, Rachel. You are getting the love of Abba, Father. God is blessing you, Hazel. Father's love is coming to you. God is blessing you, Lutz. God, Father's love is coming to you. God is blessing you, Lorna. God's love is coming to you, Philip. God's love is coming to you, Stephen. Abba, Father's love coming to you. A childless couple has been blessed. Sushama, you have been blessed by God. Abba, we lift your name. Abba, Father, we lift your name on high. Abba, Father. Somebody with a severe migraine. prayer that Jesus taught was all about Abba Father who art in heaven. The entire purpose of Jesus mission was to lift the name of Abba Father 
how important he is how loving he is how merciful he is so our life should be the same our life should be to lift the name of abba father that he should come back and walk on this earth there is a beautiful prayer to abba father this prayer is all about asking abba father to walk come back and walk on this earth come back and take over the life of our people come back and take over everything that's going on this is a prayer to this is the request that we make to abba father what we require asking abba father to do in our life we are asking abba father father the earth needs you every man needs you the heavy and polluted air needs you we beg you dear father come back to walk through the streets of the world come back to live among your people come back to guide the nations come back to bring peace and with it your justice come back to bring the fire of thy love so that redeemed by sorrow we can become new creatures let's invite abba father come and take over this earth we have failed you our leaders failed you our politicians failed you we ourselves failed you come come back and take over this earth we are here to lift your name on high we are going to receive the final blessing then we are going to enter into the eucharistic celebration by father joseph adat let's pray also for father's intention let's now kindly stand lift your name we are going to sing our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name the same prayer jesus taught the only single prayer it includes everything if jesus gave such a high position high love to abba father how much more we have to do it not just this day the entire life if abba father gave his only son jesus what else he will give us this is romans chapter 8 verse 32 you will know the love of the abba father romans 8:32 romans 8:32 we read about abba father he who you can repeat with me he who did not withhold his own son he who did not, not withhold, withhold his, his own, own son, son but gave him up for all of us but, but gave him up for all, all of us will he not with him also will, will he not, not with him also give us everything else give, give us, us everything, everything else. else this about abba father he gave his own son what else he will not give there are many who are struggling with financial crisis many who did never get the love of a father many who are so down thinking of suicide thinking hopeless embrace your father who is coming to embrace you let's lift our hands clap your hands say hear my prayer our father as we are going to receive the final blessing
sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Thank you for praying and taking the fasting. For tomorrow, please pray 33 times, Our Father in Heaven. This is symbolically to thank Abba Father for permitting His only Son, Jesus, to live 33 years on the earth that saved the whole humanity. So as a thanksgiving to Abba Father, pray 33 times, Our Father. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, you're most welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. Let us thank the Lord for giving us one more chance to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, at least online. And now let us thank the Lord, especially all the blessings the Lord has given us from yesterday. And let us also pray for the whole world, especially all the COVID-19 patients who are seriously sickened in the hospital and all the doctors and health workers who are working, doing their best to, to save the world. Let us pray for them and strengthen them through our intercession. Let us also pray for our own family members, relatives and friends and all those who are participating in this live streaming, let us pray for them in a special way. And as we celebrate this Holy Mass, let us also ask forgiveness from God for all the sins we have committed. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread? your wages on what fails to satisfy. Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you, I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favors promised to David. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, you open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. You open, you open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and to give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, call on him from their hearts. You open wide your hand, O Lord, you grant our desires. A second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul's to the Romans. Nothing can come between us and the love of Christ even if we are troubled or worried or being persecuted or lacking food or clothes or being threatened or even attacked. These are the trials through which we triumph by the power of him who loved us. For I am certain of this, neither death nor life nor angel nor prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew 
by boat to a lonely place where they could be by uh, themselves. But the people heard of this and, leaving the towns, went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the time has slipped by. So sent the people away, and they said, And they, they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, All we have with us is five loaves of bread and two fish. Bring them here to me, he said. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted, and they collected the scraps remaining twelve baskets full. Those who ate numbered about five thousand men, to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today I would like to speak to you something very important connected to the present times of crisis. Now everywhere there is a fear of sickness among the people because of the COVID-19 situation which is spreading in most of the third world countries and also the other countries are also affected. So I'm going to speak to you how to face the times of suffering how to face the times of suffering. There are seven types of, the seven ways to face the times of suffering from the Bible passage which we just read today. So today there was a time of crisis for Jesus because Jesus was preaching the word of God very powerfully. Suddenly he came to know that the John the Baptist is imprisoned. And in the prison, uh, he had wanted to listen to John the Baptist. He was so fond of him, though he never practiced what he heard from John the Baptist. But he had always fond of him. But there was an occasion where he had no other choice but kill John the Baptist. And then we read like this Gospel of Matthew chapter uh, 14, verse 9 onwards. The king was grieved, yet out of regard for his oath and for the gust, he commanded it to be given. Verse 10, next one. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison. John is the cousin brother of Jesus, and John was beheaded in the prison. Verse 11. The head was brought on a platter and given to the girl who brought it to her mother. Verse 12. His disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. He just withdrew himself from that place and then went to a lonely place. He went to be alone with the Lord, the Father. He kept a distance. He did not react immediately. He waited patiently for the Lord. So that is the first decision that we need to take. Especially in this COVID-19 situation, suddenly the lockdown comes, quarantine starts, suddenly we are asked not to go out of the home, we are controlled by so many rules and regulations, then suddenly the first thing that we need to do is, when there is a suffering, when there is a crisis, the first thing, quarantine yourself. Jesus quarantined himself. He went to a lonely place. He withdrew from the place where he heard the negative news he withdrew from there and quarantined himself he went to a lonely place to be alone with his heavenly father my dear brothers and sisters that is our first reaction that is what jesus did in his as a first reaction to the suffering in our times of crisis and struggle the first reaction that we need that suffering 
withdraw from that atmosphere and be with the heavenly father be alone in the presence of god wait patiently do not react immediately what but wait patiently we read like this psalm 27 verse 14 psalm 27 verse 14 we read like this psalm 27 verse 14 wait for the lord be strong let your heart take courage don't worry let your heart take courage wait for the lord two things in the beginning and at the end at the end it is written wait for the lord be strong and let your heart take courage wait for the lord god is in control my dear brothers and sisters when john the baptist was about to be beheaded jesus knew it already but jesus permitted it jesus knew let it happen it has to happen it is part of life it will come and he did not do anything to stop it because jesus knew the time has come it has to happen and i can turn everything into good jesus knew he can turn everything into good and he withdrew himself to a lowly place and he waited patiently let us read psalm 40 was one psalm 40 was one we read like this waited patient how oh, i waited patiently for the lord he inclined to me and heard my cry anybody who wait for the lord anybody who doesn't overreact but wait for the lord patiently the lord says i waited patiently for the lord he inclined to me and heard my cry the lord will listen to your cry the lord will hear your cry if you wait for the lord and then let's read psalm 62 verse 5 psalm 62 verse 5 we read like this for god alone my soul waits in silence see jesus was silent he went to the lowly place and he kept silence where god alone is my soul god alone for god for god alone my soul waits in silence for my hope is from him jesus kept himself alone in the presence of god in the moments of crisis in the moments of suffering and he waited in silence so that is the first step that we need to take proverbs chapter 20 verse 22 proverbs chapter 20 verse 22 we read like this word of god says do not say i will repay evil see when john the baptist his cousin was killed jesus could have said i will repay you with i will give you back how could how dare you kill my brother how dare you kill my cousin brother therefore since you have done that i will repay back i will give you back jesus could have taken retaliation revenge against herod but jesus did not do that he did not say i will repay evil but wait for the lord he will help you my dear brothers and sisters if there is an injustice done to you if there is a suffering that is caused by somebody else don't overreact withdraw from that place go in the presence of god in a lowly place be with the lord and wait patiently and he will help you you don't say i will repay you but the lord says he will help you praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters this is the first point that we need to remember during this crisis the during the time of suffering how to face it the second point that we need to see here from this bible passage you know what did jesus do he went to a lowly place we read when jesus heard this he withdrew from uh, from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself he wanted to be alone so that's why he went to a distant place lowly place but something happened verse 14 but when he went ashore he saw a great crowd suddenly there was a big crowd in front of him he wanted some privacy but there was no privacy because people were all in search of him my dear brothers and sisters if i was there in that place 
when i wanted some time alone some privacy just to go and sit somewhere alone suddenly some people come to meet it is very difficult to face them will get irritated will get disturbed because already i'm in a crisis already my cousin brother is killed and now i want some time alone with my father my god but here people are all thirsting for me searching for me it will really get irritated we will get irritated but what happened to jesus though he he has lost his cousin brother though he wanted some time alone he wanted to send, spend some time alone with his father but when the people came in search of him he should have get got angry with them he would have got angry with them he could have got angry with them but he had compassion for them my dear brothers and sisters the second point that you need to remember during the time of crisis during the time of suffering even if you are disturbed please do not disturb others if you are disturbed there is a place there is a possibility you will disturb others some people if you are disturbed inside everyone who comes around you will disturb them this is not good we are becoming contagious this kinds of disturbance is more dangerous than covid 19 it is more contagious than covid 19 it will within seconds this spirit of disturbance will be spread in the whole community in the whole family sometimes some mothers when they are disturbed children can easily understand the way the plates are hitting each other in the kitchen the the play the, the the sound which is coming out of the kitchen or maybe the things which are hitting on in, on in the in, even cleaning time and any time when you see the sound that comes out you know there is something disturbing my mother the same way father when he comes back home if he is in a disturbed mood he will also disturb everyone in the family for small small things get irritated even when the small baby comes and touches him he will shout at the baby and the baby will not understand why the father is shouting at him so because this is a tendency of the human being if i am disturbed i will disturb everyone i will disturb everyone around here jesus was very disturbed he lost his cousin brother he wanted to spend time alone with his father but he could not because thousands of people have flocked they all want to speak to jesus then what was the emotion that came out of jesus the emotion that came out of jesus was compassion my dear brothers and sisters therefore the second point how to face the crisis of time of suffering how to face a crisis struggle what we are supposed to follow the second point is if you are disturbed make sure that this disturb is disturbance is not contagious and make sure that it doesn't transfer to the other person we read one word of god gospel of john chapter 13 gospel of john chapter 13 was 21 john 13 21 after saying this jesus was troubled in spirit and declared very truly i tell you one of you will betray me jesus knew one of them is going to betray him he was troubled in the spirit he was troubled inside when he was troubled inside after some time he said one of you is going to betray me then he explained to them all these things and after some time there is a long discourse a small teaching the lord jesus gives then next word chapter 14 was one and after that jesus says is as a continuation of this conversation jesus says gospel of john chapter 14 was one we read like this at that time so gospel of john gospel of john a continuation of the same uh, uh, gospel gospel of john chapter 14 was one you know chapter 13 was 21 we already read jesus was troubled in the spirit now as a continuation of it jesus says do not let your hearts be troubled believe in god believe also in me see when jesus was troubled he told the disciples you don't be troubled 
do not let your hearts be troubled he was going through the trouble and he made sure that this trouble should not go to his family his disciples and he said do not let your hearts be troubled but believe in god and also in me my dear brothers and sisters anyone who is going through a troubling spirit when you are troubled the lord wants to say, tell you one thing believe in god and also in me believe in my father and also in me praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus praise you jesus the lord is healing somebody who has got severe jaw pain and toothache the lord is healing you and somebody who has got stomach problem and disturbance in the stomach the lord is healing you and the lord is also blessing a special way tenny the lord is blessing you praise the lord you kindly lift up your right hand and say hallelujah 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 shilpa the lord is blessing you hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. praise to jesus. jesus hallelujah hallelujah so my dear brothers and sisters the lord says if anybody is troubled then believe in god and believe it also in me jesus says so these these are the two things that we need to remember when you are facing a crisis the third third one third one is this when jesus received an irritation and disturbance but he did not give the irritation and disturbance to the disciples and the people but he gave compassion to them praise the lord so it is not only that he did not when he got disturbed he did not disturb them but instead he gave compassion he showed compassion to everyone the third one when you are going through a crisis especially now during this covid 19 situation we are all afraid we are confused we are disturbed many for freedoms are cut uh, curtailed and we are controlled quarantined we are not allowed to go out and there are so many restrictions we may be disturbed now what are we supposed to do do not give the same disturbance to everyone do not disturb others but instead let us show compassion to everyone let us help each other this is exactly what the health workers are doing today they are disturbed they are afraid that they may get the sickness but they are not worried about their disturbance they are busy helping other people they are busy con consoling other people they are busy going and serving in the hospitals compassion showing compassion to others my dear brothers and sisters this is exactly what jesus did you know this is one thing that we all need to remember some families when they i remember one lady who used to give lots of uh, attention for the daughter in law and the daughter in law came and complained and mother in law also was there so i spoke to the mother in law and said why do you do this why do you hurt your daughter in law like this she has left her family and came and joined in your family now you have to welcome your daughter in law then mother in law said father i am far better you know my mother in law tortured me so much but i am far better than my mother in law i am at least giving her some food i am giving at least doing some good for her she can't complain like this my mother in law was worst see some people they think about they are in the wound of past when they are wound in the wound of past they will give the wound to others if you are a wounded person there is a possibility that you will wound others you must have heard about ragging ragging in the school and college you are seniors ragged you and now you are busy giving ragging to other people some people justify we got worse than this so we will give worse than this to other people this attitude is not from god it is against god any kind of contagious attitude where we got negative we are giving negative this is coming from the devil if you got negative experience from your mother in law make sure that your daughter in law never get that experience if you got a negative experience from your seniors make sure that your juniors never get that experience but let them be happy because you know how much you suffered 
Why do you want others also suffer the same thing? That means it is not coming from God. That kind of attitude doesn't come from God. It is not the attitude of our Lord Jesus. What did Jesus do? When he was disturbed, when he is a victim of injustice, when his cousin brother is without any reason was killed, he did not show any attitude problem or any anger or ir irritation to his people who came in search of him. But instead he gave compassion. He showed compassion to them. He helped them. He consoled them. This is the third step. The third way to face the time of suffering, my dear brothers and sisters. The third way of suffering, the time of suffering. Praise the Lord. Let us read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 15. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 15. We read like this. See that none of you repays evil for evil. You got evil and now you want to give evil. Don't ever do that. But all we seek to do good to one another and to all. Father, mother, mother-in-law, father-in-law, daughter-in-law, son-in-law. Make sure what you got, you don't give to the other person, but give the good. The best. That is what God wants. That is what is expected of you. That is the attitude of our Lord Jesus. Let us read 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. We read, do not repay evil for evil or abuse for abuse. Many people, they got evil, they want to give evil. They got abused, now they are abusing everyone. One boy was caught in the very act of raping a small girl and killed her. After that, he came to the police. And then he admitted one thing. He was abused when he was small. And this he has not forgotten. He is hating everyone. Now he is busy abusing others. All those who are victim, be very careful. If you don't come out of this wound of victimization or victim, being a victim, if you don't come out of it, there is a possibility that you may make others victims. If you check all those who are busy hurting others and abusing others. If you check their past. They also have gone through some kind of negative experience. I, I read somewhere about Hitler. Hitler, he hurt so many people because he had a bad childhood. Very painful childhood. His father was very strict with him. Very punishing father. As a result... He punished the whole world. A wounded person, a wounded animal will wound others. Therefore, this is very important. That is why Bible says, do not repay evil for evil or abuse for abuse. But on the contrary, repay with a blessing. Repay with a blessing. It is for this that you were called. That you might inherit a blessing. You should become a blessing. You should inherit a blessing. That is why you are called, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us read. Let us read Romans chapter 12 verse 17. Romans chapter 12 verse 17. We read, do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. Let us read Proverbs, Proverbs 28 verse 10. Proverbs 28 verse 10. We read like this in the word of God. Those who mislead the upright into evil ways will fall into pits of their own making. But the blameless will have a goodly, goodly inheritance. Those who are giving evil to evil, they will fall into their own pits. Will fall into pits of their own making. But the blameless will have a goodly inheritance or godly inheritance. Luke 6.28 Luke 6.28 Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. If you are abused, if you are cursed, don't continue with that to, to someone else. You learn something from your father and mother. Don't imitate the negative things that you learn from your father and mother and show it to your children. 
it is dangerous this is not what we are supposed to do so these are the three things we have to do during when we face the time of crisis time of suffering the first one withdraw to a lowly place withdraw to a lowly place second one if you are disturbed make sure do not disturb the others third one what you received don't give it to the other people but instead give positive give just opposite if you receive negative give them the positive how if you are disturbed and hurt and in victim of injustice now you show compassion to others you because you never got compassion you never got mercy and pity now you show to others this is what jesus did he was a victim of injustice but he show compassion to others the fourth one the fourth one when he faced the the suffering his brother is killed his cousin brother is killed and he is he is in a big turmoil and confusion what did he do he decided to go and spend time in prayer he decided to spend time in prayer what does it mean the fourth one the time of suffering is a time of prayer time of suffering is the time of prayer i remember some years ago father matthew nikembramble i remember somebody told me father nikembramble is in serious he is in hospital he is in uh, admitted in the hospital this happened some years ago 2 3 years ago and because there was some uh, growth or something and they were doubting some serious sickness and then he was admitted in the hospital then i spoke to him i called him and then i spoke to him and said father how are you how is everything are you worried then father he said and he told me father joseph i am spending this time i am not well but i am uh, pr- always praying in uh, spending time in prayer and he said he said one statement that is what the same statement i quoted here he said the time of suffering is the time of prayer and preparation for the word of god and he said this is the time i'm reading bible writing down so many messages and the word of god this is the time for me i'm not bothered about the sickness i know this is the time god has given me to prepare spend time in the word of god and therefore he said this statement the time of suffering is the time of studying the word of god time of spending time in prayer my dear brothers and sisters this is very important when jesus was tortured his cousin brother was killed he was in a big crisis and that time he withdrew himself to be in a lowly place that is why we read jesus withdrew then people came and then jesus showed compassion to them he multiplied five loaves of bread for 5000 people and after that we read like this immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side 22 verse 22 after dismissing the crowd he went to the mountain top and spent the whole night in prayer in the continuation of what the crisis he was going through he went to the mountain top and spent the whole night in prayer verse 23 after he had dismissed the crowds he went up the mountain by himself to pray when evening came he was there alone what does it mean he started as soon as he came to know that john the baptist is killed he withdrew to a lowly place to pray but he could not pray because people came then he multiplied five loaves of bread for 5000 people and gave them all food and enough and more food and healed all of them then he forced them to go now you got what you need now you go because i need some time and then he went to the mountain top and spent the whole night in prayer because this is the time of crisis time of suffering the time of suffering is the time of prayer my dear brothers and sisters during this covid-19 lockdown when the moment the lockdown started the moment we started the live streaming even before the lockdown in uk we started the live streaming and we started bible st- bible studies online bible studies online bambino program youth program we made ourselves busy with the word of god and preaching the word of god praying the intercession and the learning the bible word of god what happened during this time thousands of people got the chance to worship god together thousands of people started focusing on jesus 
and we ourselves did not spend and waste time thinking about the dangers of the covid-19 and worried about what is happening around because we had no time we were busy reading the word of god and preparing for the next day's talk and next day's bible study that helped us a lot all the team members here all those who are busy here in divinity center it was a fruitful 3 4 months today we are completing 143 days of live streaming continuous live streaming 143rd is today is the 143rd day my dear brothers and sisters the time of suffering the time of crisis the time of lockdown is the time of praying the time of spending time in the word of god listening to the word of god reading the word of god preaching the word of god sharing the word of god and spending time in the presence of god we also completed 24 hour adoration for the last 143 days my dear brothers and sisters spending time in the presence of god is very important this is the fourth type of how to face the time of crisis and suffering this is the fourth step praise the lord why do i say these things because i don't know and we don't know how long these kinds of lockdown will continue even if the lockdown is shifted the distancing may continue for some time and many places though the lockdown is lifted now again going back to the lockdown because of the second wave and third wave and all these therefore we should be aware of these points how to face the time of suffering how to face it how to overcome it it's very important my dear brothers and sisters the fifth point the fifth point you know after uh, sending the people to the to the other side we read was 22 23 after he had dismissed the crowd he went up the mountain by himself to pray when evening came he was there alone was 24 but by this time the boat battered by the waves was far from the land for the wind was against them then was uh, 26 25 25 and early in the morning he came walking toward them on the sea he came walking toward them so jesus came walking on them walking no, towards them walking on the water and then 26 was 26 read but when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were terrified saying it's a ghost they cried out in fear because they were in crisis they are in suffering just like jesus was in suffering in crisis because he lost his brother cousin brother here the disciples are also in crisis what happened to them the waves are beating into the boat terrible wind storm the boat was shaking and they were expecting death and that is when jesus came walking on the water and then suddenly they saw jesus and they cried loudly and said ghost what does it mean during the suffering there is a possibility that we may look in look at this ghost and evil more than god looking we have a tendency to look at evil spirit during the suffering more than looking at god i have seen any time when there is a crisis the first comment people say father the evil is attacking the second comment father somebody has done something against us and this is how the first reaction any negative things happen any suffering happens the first comment is evil is attacking evil one ghost devil witchcraft black magic our focus unknowingly is turned towards negatives But Jesus says, "Look at me. It's I am. It's I am. Don't unnecessarily focus on evil one during the time of crisis. During the time of crisis is the time that you have to look at me. It's I am. Look at me. Even then, suddenly Peter said, 'Jesus, if it is you, I never thought it is you. But if it is you, let me." command me let me come then jesus had come and then peter jumped into the boat sorry jumped into the water and then he started walking he started walking looking at the face of jesus he started walking but he could not continue looking at the face of jesus because suddenly he had a tendency to look at the negative 
Everyone has got a tendency to do look at the negative. You know, looking at Jesus sometimes feel boring because there is nothing entertainment. We don't see any anything entertainment. But something negative is always attractive. That is why many people are afraid of horror movies, but they are so fond of horror movies. And they are afraid, but they are so fond of it. And this is how the tendency of human beings. So he was afraid of the calamities, windstorm, lightning, thunder. So instead of focusing on Jesus, he started looking and enjoy looking around. He wants to focus on that. The moment he started focusing on that, he started to sting, sink. He started to drown in the water. And my dear brothers and sisters, and then Jesus immediately, he stretched out his hand and took hold of him and lifted him out. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is very important. The one who is able to make you walk on the water, he is calling you. He is able to make you walk on the water. Therefore, don't look at the ghost and waste your time unnecessary in, during the time of crisis. God will never permit anything evil unless he has, he has some plan for you. Praise the Lord. Let us, read, let us read this word of God. Gospel of John chapter 19 was 9 onwards. 19 was 9 onwards. He entered his headquarters again and asked Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Verse 10, we read like this. Pilate therefore said to him, Do you refuse to speak to me? Do you not know that I have power to release you? And power to crucify you? Pilate said, Pilate said in front of, in front of Jesus, Pilate said, Do you refuse to speak to me? Do you not know that I have power to release you and power to crucify you? Don't you know that I have power? I have power to hurt you, wound you, insult you, abuse you. I have the power to crucify you. Then what did Jesus say? Verse 11. Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above. My dear brothers and sisters, don't be afraid of evil one. Don't be afraid of ghost, ghost or any evil spirits. If anybody thinks that it is the evil spirit who is causing all this problem. Remember this statement. Jesus told Pilate, You would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above. No evil will happen in your life without the permission of God. No crisis will come to you without the permission of God. No struggle will happen to you without the permission of God. You would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Therefore, don't waste your time fighting against the evil spirit in the, during the moment of crisis and suffering. Don't be, go for asking, Father, please pray for deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. Just wait. There is nothing happens without, your, without the permission of God. So if God permits something in your life, there is a reason for that. There is something else God wants to do, tell you. There is a message for you. If there is a mess here, there is a message there. If there is a mess here, there is a message there. Stop looking at the mess, but look at the message. He wants to tell you something. Through this incident, he has something to share with you. Praise the Lord. Therefore, this is the fifth point and the sixth one. And after these, after these walking on the water and then what happened? We read verse 32. Verse 32. We read like this. There, when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Jesus and Peter, both of them entered into the boat. The wind ceased. Verse 33. Verse 33 we read. And those in the boat worshipped him saying, Truly, you are the son of God. My dear brothers and sisters, the sixth point, during the suffering, during the crisis, what we need to do is just worship him. Worship Jesus. Time spent in front of Jesus to worship him. Just give in, give, go on giving worship to him. And the seventh one, and after that we read, 
verse 34 continue continue reading 34 we read when they had crossed over they came to land at ganesareth verse 35 after the people of that place recognized him they sent th- word throughout the region and brought all who were sick to him was 36 and he be- they begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak and all who touched it were healed all those who touched it were healed praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters at the end the seventh point is all what they happened all the suffering he went through all the crises he went through at them at the end it turned into healing and miracles and wonders my dear brothers and sisters all your suffering all your time of time of time you spend during that suffering time all the time you spend in reading the word of god all the time you spend in front of the heavenly father and you controlled your anger irritation disturbance you did not convey to others but instead you went on giving compassion to others and you were so prayerful you spent the time of suffering was time of prayer at the end the result will be miracles and wonders all what you have gathered and collected will be turned into a blessing and healing for thousands my dear brothers and sisters during this live streaming when the miracles and wonders are happening around the world hundreds and hundreds of testimonies are we are receiving every day this is nothing but because god is intervening when we are ready to spend time our energy time uh, and everything for the lord every day 3 hours and the preparation of hours of preparation when we are ready to give to god for the ministry of the lord the lord is transforming everything into healing and miracles in the lives of thousands of people this is how god works my dear brothers and sisters therefore remember the time of suffering is the time of prayer and power and you will see the result of it and this is what i would like to share with you that is why when the time of suffering came the disciples said you know when when all the people gathered together we read like this in the word of god when jesus landed on the bo- landed on the uh, uh, when he came out of the boat we read was chapter 14 was 14 chapter 14 was 14 we read like this when he went ashore he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them and cured their sick when it was evening the disciples came to him and said this is a deserted place and the hour is now late send the crowds away jesus said to them verse 16 jesus said to them they need not go away my dear brothers and sisters the disciples wanted to get rid of all the suffering all the tensions all the crises you know they didn't want to take the responsibilities of all these people but jesus said they need not go away my dear brothers and sisters in the moments of crisis the whole world will try to get rid of you but what jesus says is they need not go away be here i will provide you i will give you let's all kindly close our eyes and thank the lord for what god has done for us during this crisis moment and during this suffering time let us also thank the lord and ask for the lord to help us how to face during this crisis of suffering the seven ways of facing the time of suffering let it help you and let it be practiced in our daily life let's sing to let's all kindly stand everybody kindly stand and let us pray pray the i believe it the creed and declare our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's sing together the offer to him. Let's offer all our intentions on this altar along with the bread and wine. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image, and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works, through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis up. Pope John, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Let's all pray together the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts and in your never failing care for them. Make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is sent and let's go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we would like to thank all of you for joining us for this uh, three-hour session of Adoration, Holy Mass, and Holy Rosary. Please continue to join uh, tomorrow and every day, and inform all your friends and family members that this first facility, this availability of the three-hour Adoration and Worship and Holy Mass to everyone so that they all receive the blessings of the Lord. And please do pray for the Divinity Center, the homework, Father has already given to you. Uh, please make sure to do that for tomorrow. And um, please remember the three days of deliverance retreat that is arranged at the end of this month. This retreat is meant for to uh, get rid of every bad habits, wrong things, addictions, any kind of affliction that you are afflicted with. We pray so that the power of God will take control of our body and all these addictions, all these evil things will get out of our bodies and get out of families. For that, please be prepared and please do fasting and any type of fasting which is possible for you and you are capable of. So please do that fasting and inform us how many days of fasting that you could do. Maybe type it there um, in the chat box or comment box, wherever, in the social media and inform us in any way possible. And then we will cover 100,000 days of uh, fasting for preparation for this deliverance retreat. And it will be a mighty outpouring of the presence of the Holy Spirit in your family. And you will be delivered from all the evil afflictions. That is the assurance the Lord wants to give us when we are really prepared for it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Now let's pray for the priests all around the world. Let all these priests be strengthened in these moments of crisis and suffering. O oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, eternal priest, keep your priests within the shelter of your heart where none may harm them. 
Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily hold your sacred body. Keep holy their lips, moistened with your precious blood. Keep holy and earthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. Their labors for the glory of God may be blessed with the abundant fruits, and may the one whom they serve be the source of joy to them here on earth and in heaven the eternal crown. Let them be eager to be with you, to proclaim your good news and to fight against the evil one. Lord, give your church holy priests, religious and lay leaders. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, keep pure your, your priests and those whom they serve. Holy Mary, Queen of Priests, pray for your priests. Saint Alphonsa, pray for the religious. Saint Augustine of England, pray for England. Holy Family, keep our families pure and holy. Saint Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend us in the day of battle. battle. Be our safeguard, safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Psalm 91, you who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wasted noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample under foot. Those who love me I will deliver, I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me I will answer them, I will be with them in trouble, I will rescue them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let's all kindly kneel down in front of our Lord Jesus. Let's welcome Jesus into our midst. We're going to expose the blessed sacrament and receive the blessing and worship God for 10 minutes and thank the Lord and conclude today's session. Let's all kindly kneel down and welcome Jesus into our midst, stretching out our hands towards the blessed sacrament.
These are the moments of anointing. He is blessing everybody right now. Harida, Lord is blessing you right now. Christina, the Lord is blessing you. Thomas, the Lord is blessing you right now. Samantha, Lord is blessing you. Anne, the Lord is blessing you right now. Santana, the Lord is blessing your children. Zarina, the Lord says, don't worry, take courage, I will help you. Sunida, the Lord is blessing you with a very good marriage. Anastasia, the Lord is blessing you. The Lord is calling you again. Nancy, the Lord is calling you. Judy, I remember all the good works that you have done for me. Be faithful to me till the end. Godwin, the Lord is blessing you. Sujit, the Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody who is too much of fear of sickness, especially COVID-19, you are so afraid. The Lord is asking you to repeat Sirach 33 verse 1. Somebody whose house was destroyed, partially destroyed in a windstorm. The Lord is restoring it, blessing you with a very good house. Somebody who was in a public speech, you are humiliated, you could not continue and complete it. The Lord is removing that hurt feelings and hurt everything, strengthening you, using you powerfully. Somebody who is so worried about your best friend who always make fun of you publicly. And the Lord is also blessing somebody who has got 
cancer and degenerating your bones the lord is healing you right now somebody was fired from your position it was a very good position suddenly unexpectedly without any warning you were fired the lord is blessing you the lord is restoring you the lord is anointing you thank him from my heart he is blessing everyone right now he will never leave you orphaned smida lord is blessing you somebody who has got some serious problem in the stomach stomach is growing you don't know why you want to go to hospital but no way possible the lord is healing you right now somebody who has got very causes vein problem on both legs the lord is healing you somebody who is worried about your father who is out of mind and you you are afraid to take him to the hospital you are so worried the lord is blessing you calming him down and is anointing god is blessing that your father abba we thank you somebody very much fond of football but you had an you had a, a disqualification recently and you are so worried you want to go back the lord says commit yourself to god the lord will take you wherever you want where you want somebody who has got problem with the liver liver cirrhosis the lord is healing you right now thank him from my heart abba brenda the lord is blessing you gild gilda the lord is blessing you Karina the Lord is blessing you Someone who is worried about the admission of your child The Lord is giving you the best admission that you were expecting for Someone who is in very serious situation the hospital the Lord is blessing that person now somebody you are having urinary infection problem with the urination the lord is blessing you healing you right now let's all bow down in front of jesus o sacrament most holy sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine 